Saturday morning. We are up in Adam. Dan has been up for hours. We are getting a new shed. We're building a new shed. And he, we had to get a new foundation for it poured. So the concrete came today and he was working on that with a buddy. And they're still, they're still out there, but they should be coming in soon-ish. And then today is first day of soccer practice. So Lara's very excited. So I'm just gonna go make kids breakfast and make my coffee and we'll head out. It was drizzling a little bit this morning, but I think it's done. I feel like I'm officially starting that like sports mom phase of my life where I have to sit on the sidelines. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully there's somewhere to sit. I don't even know. I'm so unprepared for myself. I don't know if I need a chair, whatever. We'll figure it out, but I'm gonna go get the kids breakfast. Just do the zip up one, that's fine. Is that the one you have? Oh, okay. All right, we are back home. That was a lot of fun, but it was so windy. We had like literally every weather just happened in that hour. It was She's saying it was cloudy, it was sunny, it was windy, it was raining at one point. It was a little, a little wild, but they had so much fun and her team scored. So good first day, she made a friend. But now I'm going to make myself some breakfast. I haven't eaten yet, I just had coffee. I think Dan is done with the concrete. So he's got the concrete pad all formed and uh, like leveled and edged and all that. But he's kind of annoyed because we have a lot of pollen and stuff, not pollen, but like little buds from the trees have fallen down and they were on the, you know, the driveway and the wind like kicked it all up and landed on the, the wet concrete. So he's kind of annoyed about that. But I said, you know, it'll dry and then you can kind of like scrape it off maybe or something because you really can't get it off now. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat and warm up. All right, breakfast is all cleaned up. Breakfast and lunch basically. And I am so cold. I changed into a sweater and I'm drinking hot water because the chill from this morning is like not leaving my body. I feel so cold. I feel better now. But we are just hanging around the house for like another hour or so. And then we are heading out to New York City today. This is something that we had planned back in January. So our family likes to do one family outing, you know, all together a month. We sit down usually around New Year's Day and we'll plan out the year and we'll plan 12 different fun activities, one for each month. You know, of course we do other things together, but they're kind of like a little bit bigger, but not even really. Some One year, one month we did bowling, which is not a big deal. Uh, the kids did like a trampoline park. Um, we went to a farmer's market, so like it's all over the place, but just intentional times to get out as a family. So today we're going to New York City. We have tickets to the Harry Potter exhibition, and that should be really fun. It only takes, it's self-guided, so our entry time is between 3 and 3.30, and then it, it says it'll take 60 to 90 minutes to kind of go through it. So it's not like it's going to take us all day to do this, but I know there's also a Harry Potter store. I'm sure the kids are going to want to go look at that. And then we'll probably get dinner and do who knows what else. So like I said, we have about an hour. I'm just going to like do some stuff around the house, make my bed, and just get a little bit done around the house so we can leave a clean house behind and go enjoy a day out in the city. So another thing I want to do is transfer out my purse for today. I've been using this really large market tote from Urban Southern, which I love and it holds so much, but I really don't need all of that today. So I'm just gonna carry this little crossbody that I got at a yard sale a couple years ago. So I'll like take out my, you know, I don't need much. <laughs> I really don't. We are officially potty trained, so we don't need diapers and all that. And we will have a stroller at least like a little foldable umbrella stroller. So we'll have a little bit of space underneath that. But otherwise, yeah, I'm, I really, like I don't even need to bring my keys really cause Dan will drive and yeah, just a few things really, some chapstick and my phone 
and some ID. That's really all I need in there. So that'll just be so much easier not to have to carry that big bag around and I'll just have this little tiny one. back home now we had such a fun day it is just so exciting to go to New York City Dan and I actually lived there many years ago before we had kids and it just brings back such nostalgic memories anytime we go but it is a very different experience being in New York City with four children so I tried to film what I could to kind of show you guys what we were seeing and what we were doing but you know, we were pushing a stroller, we were holding hands, it was hard to kind of take out my camera and talk to it. So just kind of brought you along to see what we were seeing. We had a lot of fun at the exhibit. It was very like interactive. I think, am I still wearing it? We had these bracelets, I think I took it off, that you would like scan your bracelet at all these different stations and you could interact with the different exhibits, I guess. So that was fun. And then we just found somewhere to have dinner. We were kind of walking around for a while trying to find some place, but eventually we did. It was delicious. And then we came back home. Well, we got some coffee and then we came back home. So I think we're gonna put on a movie. I already put Jude to bed. He was ready for bed, but we're gonna just kind of end out this night, relax, watch a movie. It's just so crazy how time has flown by. The kids have been excited about this day since January, since we got the tickets. And now it's already April and it's already, a fourth of the year has already gone by. It just blows my mind. But that's going to be it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Take care.